We made 163 pips trading zip this week, but it wasn't easy. After eight straight winning weeks, I lost 111 pips the week before. Now, if I take a step back and look at the overall track record, the second losing week in 16 weeks really isn't that big of a deal. But when you're trading and the week ends with losses, many of you will empathize with the self-doubt that naturally follows. Also, the reluctancy to jump back in with the same size and aggressiveness. So how do I bounce back from losses? In earlier videos, I talked about trusting your strategy. I've traded Zip for years and I know that month after month, week after week, it delivers. In fact, this past week, when we actually made money again, there were some good trades like CAD Yen, which flashed a buy signal on Wednesday. It was a retrace trade that became a very big mover. Euro Kiwi gave us multiple sell signals and on Thursday morning in Asia, it finally broke down. Dollar Yen had a triple zip buy signals going into Thursday's US jobless claims report. Data was good following the strong inflation report the day before, and we went long before a very nice rally. But there's more you can do than trust that your strategy will continue to perform. In order to get over the psychological barrier and trade properly responsibly going forward. The first is to dig deep and understand your results. Now, two weeks ago, I lost 111 pips, but it was largely due to one trading day. Mild losses on Monday, big losses on Tuesday, winners on Wednesday and Thursday, and no trading on Friday due to non-farm payrolls. I know from past experience that this is often the case. There will be one day in the week that is very bad, where fundamentals or market sentiment are just not in sync with technicals, and everything goes wrong. So when I realize and I look back that it was just one bad day when the markets were out of whack, I can feel more confident about pressing ahead with trading. The second, and to understand where your mistakes are. Nearly all of my losses were trading the New Zealand dollar before and after the rate decision. Rate decisions are actually great trades, but this was a tricky one. They were expected to raise interest rates by 25 basis points instead of 50 basis points, which was not enough for many, yet still they signaled plans to tighten again, so the outlook was confusing. Reviewing your trades when the week is over is a process that I learned when I worked with hedge funds. These portfolio managers and traders were held accountable to their higher ups. I think we should all take trading as seriously as they do, as we are trading our own money, whereas they're still collecting a salary while trading other people's money. So with all of this in mind, I hope that you won't be discouraged by just one week of losses in your trading as I do in mine. Now, let's take a look at this week's trading. So Monday, we made 40 pips. Tuesday, we lost um, five pips. So we're basically flat. Wednesday, we made 25 pips. And Thursday, we made 42 pips. So small, steady profits in order to get us to the 101 pips in Kathy trade signals. And then our smooth 40 ch uh, uh, channel, we made 62 pips. We I traded a bit more than I would like, but we had losses in the beginning of the week that we needed to recover. But a few, a handful of trades, small winners, and we made 62 pips in the smooth 40 channel for a total of 163 pips um, this week. And as I said, trading wasn't easy, but um, we came back and I traded more cautiously than I would because we really needed to meet a hard pip target in order to have another good trading week ahead and reframe our mindset to think like winners. This past week, fundamentals and technicals were in sync, giving us some really good results with soaring oil prices driving the Canadian dollar higher, good U.S. data driving the U.S. dollar higher, and the New Zealand dollar rebounding in risk on yield plays. Many trades went more than we banked and we should have been more patient, a problem that I'm always working on, but I look forward to another trading week where we're going to focus on zip, focus on fundamentals in order to bring us those good trades. If you want to trade with me every single day or learn how Zip works, I encourage you to visit bkforex.com.